This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world with your host, Marcus Heatherly. You're tuned in to another edition of Stock Day. We're excited to have a new company on our show. Clean Spark Inc. is the company. They're trading on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol CLSK. And we're excited to have the CEO with us today, Matthew Schultz. Matthew, welcome to Stock Day. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. If you would, give us a brief overview of your company and what you guys do to make your money. Absolutely. So uh, Clean Spark is a microgrid company. And for your listeners that are unaware what a microgrid is, what we do is we take multiple different energy resources, um, whether it's wind or solar, geothermal, uh, fuel cells, micro turbines, and we, we build those into a single ecosystem. And then we add to that storage, energy storage, and then controls. And the purpose for doing that is um, we, we provide resilient power. So for customers that can't have the lights go out, like one of our large customers, the, the United States Marine Corps mm-hmm. at Camp Pendleton, we have some mission critical systems there that absolutely have to be on. So a microgrid will provide that resiliency but then we can also provide um, economic optimization that utilizes those renewable resources to you to optimize the time that that they're accessed to save our end use clients money Um, and then the third value we provide is reduction in emissions so we have clients from all across the board military commercial industrial and residential what differentiates you from other microgrid companies so a lot of people are putting solar on the roof, and yes. uh, whether it's commercial or even residential. And the real value in solar is, is, is the ability to, to use that free source of energy to offset your expenses. The utilities have kind of figured that out, and so the, the amount that they charge for the electricity that may go into your home or into your business varies by the time of day, and it also varies by the, 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 the amount that's used in a specific period. Those are what they call time-of-use charges or demand charges. And so what CleanSpark does is we, we model that. We use utility data and weather data and consumption data, and we build a financial model for our clients that, that optimizes their solution to what, whatever's most important to them, resiliency or economics or GHG, greenhouse gas reduction. And, and so we have the ability to present multiple solutions about what the value is if you were to make that energy investment, um, how much it will save you, how long it takes to pay off, and how much money you can ultimately make. We also have the ability to allow our customers to participate in energy markets to sell surplus energy back to other users or back into the grid um, in those uh, areas that, that that's currently available and, and that's rapidly expanding as deregulation in the power utility space becomes more uh, readily accepted across the map. Got it. What are some examples of the types of clients that you guys service? Well, it's, it's interesting. We've had a lot of, of liquidity in our stock just recently because we did a full-scale design and engineering plan for a medical uh, cannabis facility. Okay. Um, we, we worked with a company in North Hollywood that had a power outage as a result of an automobile accident, took out a transformer, shut down their power. And without resiliency, um, they didn't have temperature control, they didn't have irrigation, they didn't have ventilation, they didn't have lighting. It, it, it exposed them to massive losses within those those crops. And so we work with companies to provide that resiliency that in the event of a disruption of power, you still have the lights stay on. Um, We work with uh, cryptocurrency mining companies because they're intensive power users. So the ability to harness that solar and overlay potentially a fuel cell or a micro turbine or, or some other energy source, and then save that to be used when energy costs increase later in the day or when solar isn't as effective, we, we found that we can offer them huge economic value. Not, not only that, but we can also capture all of those investment tax credits and the other incentives for, for participating in renewable resources. So 
we would whether it's a, a, a controlled distribution agriculture company or a cryptocurrency company or the US military or we just announced a, a contract for the switchgear we'll be installing in the new US embassy in Beirut Lebanon a really broad section um, of, of users and we've even taken a, a luxury residence in Poway California completely off the grid um, for for less than what it would have cost for San Diego gas and electric to bring the utilities into this more remote area, mm. we built them a, a fully independent microgrid, and so this 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 uh, customer will actually never have a power bill because they're not even connected to the grid. So it's we we have a really wide variety of of, of end use customers. You're tuned into Stock Day Radio. We're listening to Matthew Schultz. He is the CEO of Clean Spark Inc. They provide microgrid solutions to the military, commercial and residential properties. If you would, Matthew, uh, aside from the U.S. military and State Department, what are some of your other major clients that you guys work with? Well, that's a great question. Um, thank you for asking. Um, we filed an 8K last Friday, um, and you know we haven't talked about it a lot publicly yet, but we work with a, a large REIT um, that has a, a value on the New York Stock Exchange of about $15 billion dollars. And they own shopping centers all across the United States. And one of their flagship properties is in Thousand Oaks, California. And so we designed and engineered for them a solution that we're now building and installing. We'll manage for the next 20 years going forward of uh, uh, what they call the, the most resource diverse zero net energy microgrid ever built in North America. And that'll take the Oaks Shopping Center in Thousand Oaks, California, effectively off the grid. Wow. Uh, it's about an $18 million project, but more importantly, the owner of that property, uh, Maserich, who's a, a gigantic retail REIT, will now realize revenue not only as the landlord for that property and the, and the real estate owner, but they'll also now have the ability to function as the utility. Mm -hmm. And by, by providing those services, Mace Rich now realizes additional revenue, and by increasing the net um, asset income or the net asset revenue of a property, it also directly impacts the net asset value. So it changes the value of, of, a, of a major real estate portfolio by increasing the revenue derived from those properties. So we're really excited about that, and that's, that's going to be a, a significant feather in our cap. That, that, that goes into construction uh, ideally by the end of the year, and uh, it's due to be commissioned by the end of July. Now, you guys work on, on various bases, I'm assuming, then, as far as your contracts, fixed prices, uh, do you do like royalties, or, or how are these, these things usually financed? So it's interesting. We, we do, with the military, obviously the military owns those projects uh, outright. Got it. Um, the, the original microgrid that we built that's been coined the fractal grid, um, we received a grant from the California Energy Commission that goes back to uh, the early 2010s. Uh, the, the, the project went out for a bid in 2011. CleanSpark prevailed on that bid, and we built that microgrid in 2014. And what's really unique to us is we were able to secure that contract ahead of such competitors as Lockheed Martin or General Electric or Siemens or Schneider, massive players in the space, because CleanSpark's solution is what we call vendor agnostic or hardware agnostic. And what that means is all the clients we've talked about today, whether it's Mace Rich or the United States Marine Corps or the State Department, to some degree, they already have some form of utility of, of, of renewable utility or renewable generation on their facilities. In the case of Camp Pendleton, there were 55 independent companies that provided some form of distributed generation uh, or, or uh, storage on Camp Pendleton. So CleanSpark designed a software solution that allows us to operate all of these unique different vendor hardware and provide that in a single ecosystem with a single point of control. So for a company like Maserich that already had three megawatts of solar on the roof of their building, one of our competitors may go in there and say, well, in order for this, this microgrid to function properly, you need to replace those legacy assets with our General Electric or with our Siemens or whoever that, that, that client may be. CleanSpark's unique offering is that we have the ability to model to manage and to operate across a broad spectrum of unique vendors. So those legacy costs are not lost. 
So we have we have the ability to do so. And so to finance those programs, it's fairly simple. A lot of them have already made a, a substantial investment, but we have the ability to 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 fund those either through a fully financed solution, through a PPA, which is a power purchase agreement. Um, we have different capital partners that we can tailor a, a a modeled solution for whatever the needs are of our end use customer. Very exciting. Well, you've been listening to Matthew Schultz of Clean Spark Inc. They're a technology company. They've got very exciting technologies. They've got multiple patents protecting some of their technologies, and they've got multiple huge clients, everything from the military to the U.S. State Department. I imagine your services would be useful possibly in the healthcare industry as well. They're currently at a stock price around $5. Market cap is at $166 million. And at that price, there's definitely some room to grow there with all the technologies and the revenues that they have going currently. Matthew, I want to thank you for your time coming on the show today. Hope that you'll come back on in maybe 45 to 60 days and give us an update on your company then. Hey, we'd love to. And thanks for the time. It's been great chatting with you. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.